First and foremost, let's start this one like this, bro. Core Stevenson, I wish you a speedy recovery, my bro. I see a lot of channels out there um, <laughs> that saying he faked his injury and all this. I don't think this man faked no injury. He has a picture laying down in that hospital bed, bro, showing his hand all wrapped up. And, the other, and one thing I noticed, man, it looks like it was his right hand. So I feel like Shakur Stevenson has problems in both of his hands in all honesty, bro. And I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Shakur Stevenson. I think he's an amazing fighter. I think he's an exceptional talent. I just think he has a style that we're just going to go ahead and say is not fan friendly. And I'm not going to make this video trashing on Shakur Stevenson in all honesty because boxing is the way that this man provides for his family, feeds his family, you know, puts a roof over their head and, you know, tries to, you know, I guess um, create generational wealth because you can make a lot of money in this boxing game, bro. Shakur Stevenson, I don't know if this man's career is going to be over. Uh, thankfully, as defensively, um, as talented as he is, the way he's able to maneuver inside of that ring and those cat-like reflexes that he has. I honestly still wish that this man um, continues to have a successful career. But it is tough when you have two broken hands, bro. But look at what Floyd Mayweather was able to do with it, bro. He was able to make a ton of money, man. Because when he was Pretty Boy Floyd, he was putting hands and knocking everybody out, bro. Damn near. But then when he turned into Money Mayweather, he had a lot of hand problems, bro. And he was more of a defensive and cautious fighter, bro. So, you know, it makes me wonder, bro, if Shakur Stevenson probably in the back of his mind, you know, always knew from the get-go, bro, you know, from the beginning of his career that his hands were not the strongest, bro. And maybe I'm starting to think to myself, maybe this is why Shakur Stevenson didn't take a lot of chances in the boxing ring, bro, because he probably didn't want to break or injure his hands, bro. It all honesty is, uh, in all honesty, bro, it's starting to kind of make sense to me, bro. Because this is not the first time, it's been many times already in this dude's career that he's had hand problems, bro. And besides Floyd Mayweather, man, let's not forget about Pauli Malignaggi, man. Um, not too far back, he was a two-weight world champion, bro. He didn't have the best hands. He always had a lot of hand injuries. And I know a lot of people have a love-hate thing with Pauli, bro. I respect what Pauli did inside that boxing ring. I disagree with him with the hate that he has Can towards Canelo Alvarez. I feel like he's a hater when it comes to this. But as a boxer, bro... And I'm pretty sure that he's a good person too, bro, at the end of the day. And he was able to, you know, be a two-weight world champion, make a lot of money in boxing, been into the ring with a Miguel Cotto, a Ricky Hatton, been into the ring with an Amir Khan, been into the ring with an Adrian Broner that took his belt and his girl. <laughs> AB had to brag about his side piece though, man. Hey, that was that was crazy entertaining. But you know what this what I'm trying to say with this video, bro, I'm actually hoping that Shakur Stevenson's career continues with a lot of success I, I i wish him a speedy recovery bro i guess um you know the fans kind of win it's a lose lose situation for shakur because he's not going to be able to fight but i guess the fans win with him not fighting um you know joe cordina because nobody wanted to really see that fight everybody wanted to see the zapata fight so now hopefully man when shakur comes back we get the fight that we want um you know in all honesty bro with, with these um, hand problems that Shakur Stevenson has, it makes me really wonder um, how he would do against the Tank Davis, man. Because I feel like as talented as he is defensively and those reflexes that he has, you need to have a little bit of thump, you know, in your hands to gain the respect of a fighter like Tank Davis, bro. A fighter as talented, fast, patient, bro, as a Tank Davis, man. And it, and, and it just, you know, it's kind of a buzzkill, honestly, bro. Honestly, it is because I don't know if, you know, Tank Davis, you know, Shakur is not the biggest puncher and we see why now, bro. And if this man doesn't respect his power, it might be an early night, man. But besides that, bro, Shakur, I wish you none but the best, bro. Speedy recovery. All these dudes talking about he's faking this hand injury. I'm not buying that, bro. This is this man's livelihood and this is how this man feeds his family, bro. So that's what we're going to um, say in this video. And we out of here till the next one. Peace and blessings to my real ones.